Hi, welcome back to Zim Wrench. We'd continue this video from where we stopped the last time on what does the wrench light mean on a Ford? If you missed the first part, kindly check the description for the link to the video. Step 4, Check ETB, Electronic Throttle Body. Check Electronic Throttle Body, ETB, and Throttle Position Sensor, TPS. It may be that they are dirty and need a thorough cleaning or that they are open. If the car in question is an F-Series, you will find it just behind your air box. You can pull away the snorkel of the throttle's air intake. Take out one of its bolts. Then use air to blow away the dirt that has accumulated in that area, then release the MAF sensor. This is attached to the housing of the throttle's airbox. Do pull out all four bolts which are pinning down the airbox. As soon as the airbox has been removed, you can see your ETB. You can buy a small seafoam can at any local store that deals on parts. Use it to clean the body of your throttle even without detaching it. Should the challenge be there still, you can check out inlet hose. It could be that the hose is cracked and is leaking. If it is not cracked or leaking, then proceed to step 5. Step 5. Replacing transmission fluid. This part is a huge guess but then you can try it anyway. It could work out. It has worked for some people. You just have to ensure that you are making use of the transmission fluid that is recommended for your car. You could find this recommendation in the pages of your user's manual. Follow the steps below to change the transmission fluid. You need the following materials to do that, a ratchet, large pan, funnel, transmission filter, 6 quarts Mercon transmission fluid. Before you start this, or any other do-it-yourself work, you must take protective measures. This could be in form of wearing protective gear, switching off your engine, disconnecting battery, parking your car in safe and flat terrain. First step, check out your transmission fluid. Before you set out to flush the incumbent fluid, it is vital that you check the fluid. If you have 100,000 miles on the fluid, then change it. Second step, drain transmission fluid. Third step, filter removal. It is easy to get the filter out if you try shimmying down simultaneously. Remove the ring under the filter. And when you are doing so, ensure that you do not make contact with the main control which has a sensitive bore. It is best you make use of a small screwdriver so that no damage is done to the sensitive parts. Fourth step, clean out the pan. Fifth step, install a new filter. Sixth step, pour in your new fluid. Before you pour in the fluid, open your car hood and pull out the fluid dipstick. Using the funnel, pour in 5 to 6 quarts of your new fluid. Before you test your new fluid, you need to bring back the temperature of your transmission to 150 degrees. This is the optimal operating temperature. You can make this happen by allowing your truck to keep running until your engine is totally warmed up. Make sure you check out the fluid when you must have run the engine or driven it about for some time. Step 6. Cleaning the ETB. ETB of any car with high mileage could be very dirty and needs proper cleaning. There are many other things that dirty ETB can cause. They include engine stalling, rough idle, a gas pedal that is sticky, and a car that is moving at a snail's pace. For you to clean up the throttle body, you have to take the following steps. First, you have to pull out the duct of the air intake then pull one of the arms of the lever. When this is done, the plate of the throttle opens up. You can spray the cleaner right inside. You can clean up the gunk using a rag. Replace the duct of the air intake. When you are doing this, attention must be paid to the opening plate of the throttle. You must ensure that what you push is one of the arms of the lever. Not the plate of the throttle itself. The computer of the car totally controls ETB. There is also a motor that is located right inside your throttle. It is responsible for the opening and closing of the plate. Should you directly use your hand to push your throttle plate, the computer of the car will be confused as to where the correct throttle position should be. This will cause another car issue in addition to the one you are trying to fix. In fact, things would even become worse. And in such a situation, you will have to use the scan tool for resetting the engine. You can also use the relearn idle procedure. This is necessary if the engine will get back to the normal speed. If that does not happen, you will be stuck with a snail instead of your plush Ford vehicle. So, here is another way of opening the throttle plate without touching it. Get a friend to be on the driver's seat. Let him turn your car key at the ignition without actually starting the car. He will step on the gas pedal until it reaches the end. As soon as that is done, the plate of the throttle is open. 
You can improvise if you're all by yourself by placing something very heavy on top of your gas pedal. Be sure whatever you are placing is heavy enough, so the throttle plate does not open when you are working. The plates have specific cleaners that are made for them. When you are buying one, make sure you do not mistake them for carburetor cleaner or brake cleaner. The brake cleaner can be one hell of a powerful solvent. It is so strong it can damage seals, rubbers, sensors, and coatings that are on the throttle walls. Wondering why the throttle gets this dirty? Well, wonder no more. It is not just atmospheric air that passes through the throttle. The vapor that comes from blowby and crankcase also passes through. To get this, you will have to understand how the PCV system works. PCV stands for Positive Crankcase Ventilation. It is a container for all crankshafts which are beneath cylinders. Motor oil is what greases the moving parts that are inside of the crankcase. This crankcase must be aerated, else, excess pressure will build up in it. This will lead to the seal breaking and the oil leaking. This is why the crankcase should be aerated. But this cannot be done by atmospheric air because of environmental pollution. Here, then, is where the use of the PCV is seen. Air from your crankcase goes to the engine, then fresh air which is atmospheric air is sent to your crankcase from another pipe attached to it. As the car gets more mileage, that vapor inside the throttle begins to acquire gunk and dirt. Again, oil rings, pistons, and rings become worn out and can no longer hold the cylinders tight. This will allow gas that has been burned to get off and move to your crankcase. This will only make more vapor. More vapor, which carries a lot of dirt, will make your throttle dirtier in less time. When you clean the body of your throttle, idle problems such as the car moving very slowly may be solved. Remember, if the vehicle makes use of an ETB, never ever push or touch it using your hand. What you can do is this, get someone to press down your gas pedal when your engine is on. You can then proceed to clean the body of the throttle. Before we wrap up, some people report that they were slow in acting when the indicator light came on. As a result, the car could not come on at all. There are also some cases where the light may be coming on and going off periodically. The best thing to do is to promptly get the car by any means to your mechanics workshop or the local store that deals on car parts. But how? Try this, remove your car key from the ignition and open the door of your car, the driver's side precisely. Close the door then once again you can try starting the car. Many people have tried this, and it worked. It resets your car system so you can at least get to a mechanic. When it does come on, do not relax, get the car to the mechanic immediately. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also, drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details and visit our site www.zimwrench.com for more awesome wrench content like this.